Here in Sicily, I've been inspired by all the fantastic coffee here and the great cakes that we've been eating. And I've decided to make a gorgeous espresso chocolate layered cake to share with you. Now, on a scale from one to 10, it's probably be about a seven to make. But if you think about it, here in this little holiday home that we are in, we've been able to make it and I'm gonna take you through it step by step. Before we make this cake, let me just talk you through the layers. We're starting with a super moist chocolate devil's food cake, and I've brushed that with a little espresso as well. Above that, we've got this light and airy Swiss meringue buttercream with a wonderful espresso flavoring in there. Above that, we've got another layer of Swiss meringue buttercream. This one is flavored with chocolate. In total, three layers of moist devil's food cake. And then the whole thing has been coated over with this gorgeous honey and chocolate ganache coating. So if you think you're up for it, come on, let's get on and bake this. Whilst we do the cake mix, you might as well have your oven preheating to 175 degrees Celsius at 350 Fahrenheit because it doesn't take long to make this batter. Now I have some softened butter in my mixing bowl, 345 grams, that's about 12 ounces of slightly salted butter. And into that, I'm just gonna add 450 grams of soft brown sugar, that's about a pound. Now we want to cream these together. Now I'm just gonna scrape down the side of my bowl. Into that batter, we're gonna add three eggs. Again, we're just gonna scrape the bowl down. Now in a separate bowl, I've got 360 grams of all-purpose flour. That's about 12 and a half ounces. And I'm gonna be adding into that 75 grams, two and a half ounces of cocoa, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking soda. And I'm gonna give that a rough mix through. It doesn't have to be completely mixed. Now I've got two and a quarter cups of strong espresso coffee that I've made here. I'm not gonna add it all in at once though. I'm gonna add one cup in at first, roughly half my dry ingredients, and then we're gonna mix this together. So when that's combined, I'm just going to take the rest of our coffee and we'll add the last of our dry ingredients. And we're just gonna mix this on a low speed until we've got a lovely smooth batter. Now I'm gonna bake three cakes from this batter with eight inch round, that's about 20 centimeters. And what I've done with each one is I've lined it with butter, put a circle of parchment paper in the bottom, and then I've dusted over with some cocoa powder. And what that's gonna do is let the cake release really easy once it's baked. So let's get and divide that batter up. Now we just want to level down our batter and we're gonna bake these cakes for 30 to 40 minutes. I found in my oven it's about 35 minutes until they're perfectly cooked. Now when your three cakes come out of the oven, you should give them a little push down. Now if they're fully cooked through, you'll get a slight bounce back. Take them out of the oven and let them cool down for at least 30 minutes or so until they're cool enough that you can touch. And then what we want to do is just put your hand onto the cake, turn it out. Now it should come out super easy like that. I'm gonna pop it onto a cooling rack and we'll let it continue to completely cool down until we're ready to use it. Next, we're gonna make a delicious Swiss meringue buttercream to go inside and outside this cake. And I'm making it with two different flavors, an espresso and a real chocolate. Now, a Swiss meringue frosting is a little more complicated to make than a regular butter frosting, but trust me, it's so much more delicious and lighter. Now, we just want to separate six eggs and six yolks. Pop my yolks away. Now keep those yolks, you can always use them in another recipe later on. Now we'll pop our six egg whites into a bowl and add into that 300 grams, that's a cup and a half of regular granulated sugar. We're gonna heat this on the stove on a double boiler and we're gonna whisk it with an electric whisk while it is to get the volume in there. It should be about 70 degrees Celsius, that's 160 Fahrenheit. Um, but you can generally see when the crystals of the sugar have dissolved and you've got this lovely fluffy white meringue. Our meringue foam now is nice and stiff. Now we're going to add into that 500 grams of butter. That's about 17 ounces. And I'm going to put it in a bit at a time, but make sure the butter is nice and soft and it's at room temperature. We pop this in and start to whisk this up. Add a little bit at a time. Now once all the butter is incorporated into the meringue, you're gonna see it get a lot looser. So we just want to continue to whisk this until it thickens up again. And then pop this aside for a moment. I've got to prepare some chocolate and some espresso. 
Now I haven't got a microwave where I am at the moment, so I've still got my hot water here on the stove. I've got 100 grams of dark chocolate in another bowl, and I'm just gonna pop it over the hot water until this is completely melted. I want that to cool down just a little bit before we add our buttercream into it. I'm gonna take half of this buttercream now and just pop it in with our cooled chocolate and then mix this together so we get a lovely chocolate buttercream. And then we're gonna leave this to completely cool down. Now with the other buttercream we've got here, we're gonna make this a nice coffee flavor. I've got a strong espresso shot here. I'm not gonna use it all, I'm gonna use just about half. Pour that over the buttercream. As I say, I keep a little bit back. Then I've taken the whisk off the mixer and I'm just going to blend this in till I've got this lovely smooth espresso buttercream. Time to construct this beautiful cake. Now I've got my cake layers here and I'm just going to level a tiny bit off the top. I want about an inch thickness. So we have three even layers of cake now. I'm just gonna turn that over, take the paper off. I'll just lay it down on a fresh piece of wax paper. I'm gonna brush some espresso onto here just to get that rich coffee flavor into the cake. Next, we're gonna take some of the espresso cream and what I want to do is just evenly coat over this cake. Next, we're gonna take our chocolate buttercream, gonna layer that over the top. And then add your next layer of cake on there and repeat. And the last layer, I'm gonna use the chocolate buttercream, I've decided, and I'm gonna put a very thin coat, just a crumb coat on this. Now I've set my chocolate cake to chill in the fridge. We want it in there for at least a couple of hours, perhaps even overnight. And whilst it chills, I'm gonna get on and make a beautiful chocolate ganache to coat it with. I'm using a dark chocolate. I've got 135 grams, that's four and a half ounces. And in a bowl, I'm just gonna heat this over a double boiler until it's completely melted. Now the last little bits of chocolate are just starting to melt and that's only taken a few moments. What I'm gonna do is just turn the heat off and set that aside. In a small pan, I've got one cup of thick cream. And I'm gonna take four tablespoons of honey into the cream. And I want to bring the honey and cream up to a rolling boil. Now that's come up to the boil, let's take it off the heat. I have my melted chocolate, my honey and cream. I'm just gonna pour half the honey and cream into the chocolate. And we're just gonna mix that together until we get a nice smooth cream. I'll add in the last of the honey and cream and stir this until you get a lovely rich ganache. Now whilst our ganache is still nice and hot, I've got 75 grams, that's about a third of a cup of salted butter. I'm just gonna pop that in and this is gonna give a lovely gloss to the ganache. Now if we were to pour this over the cake right now, it would just run straight off the side. So we want to cool this down to 40 degrees Celsius, that's about 104 Fahrenheit, and then it would give a lovely even coating. Now my cake surface is nicely chilled, it's been in the fridge, I'm just gonna take that paper off of there and very gently, whoops, I'm going to lay it down on a uh, cooling rack. The ganache is at the temperature I'm looking for. I'm gonna pour the chocolate over the cake let it run down the sides. Now the last stage, this may look like a bowl of crushed Oreo cookies, but actually it's just the top, the trimmings off the cake, and I've just dried it in the oven and made it into a loose crumb. Because it's easy to get a nice smooth top with a poor sauce, but sometimes it can be a little rough on the edges, I'm just gonna take our crumb and I'm just going to drag it up the side of the cake and it's just gonna give this lovely finish to the side of the cake. Now I'm so looking forward to this. Let's take that piece of cake out. If you're brave enough to give this a go, send me some photographs on social media. I'd love to see how it comes out for you. It just remains for me now to give this a try. That is probably one of the most delicious chocolate cakes I've ever tried. If you've enjoyed the recipe, share the love, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more recipes will be coming up very shortly on Steve's Kitchen. I'll see you next time. Take care.